Hey what's up guys, in this video I am going to show you how to scan, edit, sign and convert PDF documents on iPhone with PDF Element which is the ultimate all-in-one PDF editing software. Download the PDF Element from the App Store, check the description of this video for the direct app link. After installation launch the PDF Element, you will see the interface like this. Everything is available at glance, so even if you are a beginner, you can use it like a pro. At the bottom, we have three tabs, Home, Recent and Tools. So first of all, let me show you how you can scan the document. Click on the plus icon at the bottom right corner of the interface. From here, you can also import PDF files, create new PDF files or you can scan the document. Tap on Scan. The camera appears. If you need a multi-page document, click on it, shoot as many images as you want to turn them into one PDF document. After the process is concluded, you can edit the pictures captured. It means one is free to crop a section of it to remove unwanted objects from the image. You can make necessary changes to the document. It includes adding filters, rotating them or adding new pictures. Tap on save button. Now you can also edit this file. Let's import new file and edit it. Click on files and select the file. You can edit the text or retype the new text on the document, delete, cut, paste and change its color and size using the standard keyboard function on your device. You can also highlight the text. You can just swipe your finger across the text. You can also click and change the color as you wish. And next we have strike through. With the next option you can underline the text. And once again, you can tap and change the color as you wish. You are also given an option to draw freely on the PDF. Now if you want to edit the existing text on the PDF or want to add the text, you can do it easily. You can also change the font, font size and its color. Next we have stamp option. You can add stamps to your document. You can also adjust its size. And next we have signature option. It's also the best app to sign documents on iPhone. You can use your finger to write your signature. PDF element also comes with great flexibility surrounding the size and color of the pen you use. And you can also type your signature in plain text if you prefer. After editing the PDF document, if you need to add watermarks, PDF element for iOS also allows you to add watermark to PDF or remove watermark from PDF easily. Click the three dot icon on the top right corner and then in the drop down list choose the watermark option. Click the add watermark button. If you want to remove the existed watermark, just click the remove watermark button. Select the text or image as a watermark. If you want to add text watermark, you can enter the text in the text box. Beside, there are also some options allowing you to set the watermark, size, color, opacity, rotation and position. Moreover, you can also choose to add the watermark as the file type. Last but not least, please click apply to save the watermark after finishing settings. Lastly, you can add images from the image tab. So the image has been added which can be resized, moved anywhere on the PDF just like that. So that's all in the editing part. With this app, you can also convert PDF to Word and other formats. Head to the three dot icon and tap on convert. PDF element for iOS can convert PDFs to multiple formats. With this in mind, you need to be sure of the output format that you need 
so that you can select it. For example, I want to convert it as a JPG. So select the desired output format by choosing from the list and then click the start button. The conversion will be complete within seconds. You should be able to access the converted file in the output folder in the format you selected. Now you can also share it on WhatsApp, Telegram or via email. So PDF element is the ultimate PDF solution for professionals and students. It's also very very easy to use. It's feature rich and it's by far the best alternative to Adobe Acrobat. So check the description of this video for the download link of the software. It is also available for Windows and Mac. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. See you guys on the next one.